Hello and welcome to Electro Special and today we will be looking at how to create Stream Power Index acronymed as SPI. So before we get into class, we'll be using ArcGIS for this task today and uh, any version of ArcGIS from 10.0 down to 10.8.2 which is what I'm using is fine and uh, this will be using ArcGIS desktop. So we may sometimes have a tutorial on how to do some on ArcGIS Pro. Alright, so but before we go into class, uh, I'd like us to just take a look at what is Stream Power Index. So the Stream Power Index is a measure of the erosive power of rainwater. Alright, just write down some few notes and uh uh, I said strength panel index can be used to describe potential flow erosion at the given point of the topographic surface. As the catchment area and slope gradient increase, the amount of water contributed by upslope area and the velocity of water increase, hence the stream power index and erosion risks increase. Alright, so the formula for calculating the stream power index is this SPL, which is the limb of um, the free accumulation multiplying by the time of um, the slope. Uh, so I'm just going to briefly show this in the RGS software. And so we we'll go back to this node to move about time, but don't create a node. Now explain some of what this are uh, all about. So, so we launch our journals and we'll get to work. All right, so I have a short file of the study over, which is Kaduna side, and this is at the end here, I would say, is a bad area. So I'm using SRTM. If you have any of the Digital location, but then whether it's Aster or it's Alloy Palsa, uh, any of the digital elevation model, or uh, even if you have created your own digital elevation model, meaning you've done the topography, so the of that area, we're going to apply it to calculate your SPI. Uh, so, first, we're going to do uh, is clip. Uh, so, I'm just going to search for clip here. Uh, L L P. Or else I'm going to click on search. So for those who want to know where uh, this is coming from, we are having a clipping length announcer. Uh, it's clip length on that detail management. So if you want to know exactly where this is, so you right uh, click on it and you go to locate in catalog. So we're going to bring you a dollar and start processing and we're going to CP. Alright. And raster processing is in data management tools. Alright, so I'm going to double click on this clip. So I'm going to input the raster, which is our SRTM. So the output extent is the the study area. Alright, so I'm going to use a check for you to use input features for clipping geometry. There is optional where you need to check it. So here I'm going to have where I want this to be served. Alright. So I'm going to create a folder here and I'm going to name it hydro. Hydrology. Okay, so I'm just going to name it hydrology. Since everything I have doing is going to be inside this hydrology, so I'm going to name it uh, study. Since that's our study area, right? So I'm going to test it dot TRF. All right, as the format on it with saving. So I'm just going to click on it and allow it to click to our study area.
Okay, so I was trying to be impatient, but that's fine. I did that. So let's remove this and then we we'll just uncheck this and see that our study area has been curved out. Okay, so we have um, the SRTM of this side. So first way we need to do in terms of creating an SPI. So let's remove this and leave only the study area, all right? So first we need to, um, we need to fill these, uh, I need to fill this DM. Oh. So, um, we have fill under spatial analyst. So you see, I'm searching. So you could also replace it on our end by just right clicking on this and locating catalog. So to take us there. So it's under herbology tools and this field. So let's double click on the field. Now I have field future will be the raster which we save our study. So we're going to have uh, an output. So we say field. My L doesn't work so to use this fill DEM you can put the TIF but I'm not going to do that so I'm just going to click on OK so our uh, DEM has been filled so in case you're asking where is this fill DEM you can read description on it anyway you can read description from this once you click on it, you see item description. So you can read a little bit of the description of what this is all about. So if you sinks in a surface raster to remove small imperfection in the data. Okay, so a sink is a cell with an undefined drainage direction. Next cell surrounding it are lower. The poor point is the downward cell with the layers elevation. So we can just go through and read this so we understand what we are filling and why are we performing the fill on the digital elevation model. So we can remove the study now. So the next we have to do here is to create a fill direction. All right. So the fill direction now will be going with the digital elevation we just filled. So here we are going to create and we are going to put it as flow direction so you can use flow underscore direction but i'm joining it together just leave flow underscore direct or flow direct that's what i'm using so you saved and then we okay all right so flow direction has been created all right so let's uncheck those so the next we're going to be creating is our flow accumulation okay, so each of them are like i said you can read what the are for so our flow direct our accumulation will be um will be imputing flow direction as our as our raster so we impute our flow direction and then our output will be flow accumulation. So let's name it as flow is CC as flow accumulation. All right. So we okay. All right. So next, uh, what we want to do now will be we want to create um, the slope. All right. So the slope which we search slope. Do you So you're going to be using the one on spatial demo list. So you click on it. Now we're going to be imputing the field then the elevation will be filled. So that's what we're imputing. So this will be slope. And then 
Now meaning it's in degree, all right? Slope in this also. Now here, it's a little in degree. We can also have in percentage rails. Percentage rails, so any add. But I'm going to be using slope in degrees anyway. All right, so I'm just going to click on, okay, but we can use any of the value here, all right? So any of the value and bar will fill them. All right, you can use any value here. But I'm just going to leave it like that. So slip has been created, all right? So now that slip has been created, we will move right into production of the... We will be producing uh, our SPI. So to do that, we're going to come back to our search and we are going to search for raster calculator. Rasta Cal Calita So Rasta Calculator I'm going to search. So we have our Rasta Calculator here. So we'll click on it. So we're going to apply this formula. We just follow our, uh, my keyword is kind of faulty, so I'm not going to be able to type the formula for you. So we'll just follow the formula I'm going to. Uh, so under conditional, we'll go back to lean. We bring it this lean formula and you we'll add this to the first one. So it means it's a double opening. All right. So you click on flow accumulation, all right? Then plus, then you type this 0 0.001. Then we come out other bracket, close bracket, you multiply, daily bracket, slope and degree, Divide by 100. Close by vote. Plus 0 0.005. So it's either a slope in degree or a slope in percent. But I think percent will go more well with this. But then let's copy this formula and keep so that let's create the slope in percent, okay? All right, so I'm just going to close this. So let's quickly create a slope in uh, in percent, okay? Slope. Is the same procedure, right? So no challenge. Let's just create it. A sub. All right, so I'm just going to bring in the field then. And I'm just going to change this to percentage trials and then change this uh, slip in percent now. In percent. Okay, so I'm just going to click on OK. So slip in percent has been created. So let's go back to Rasta calculator now. Rasta. Calculator, yeah. So, let's search. Hello, bring you back. So, I'm just going to paste that formula before, and then I'm going to remove this. So, I'm going to now double click on this. All right. So, it's now slip in percent instead of the slip in degrees. So, you cut this formula. So now that we have this formula, the next thing we have to do here. Okay, so oh, here we're going to close it. All 
Why is it there? Have I missed error 10? Okay, it's a flower where last one should have a debit bracket. Okay, let me copy this. So I'm going to save this in a notepad and I will drop it on the link. Okay, but I hope you understand how we get this to where we are now. So I'm going to save it in a notepad so that while I'm uploading this video, I will share it with this. Okay, so. Uh, now the next thing is we're going to go to our output and I'm going to save it as SPI. So I'm going to click on save and I'm going to click on OK. So let's wait for result. It is done. All right, so let's go to SPI properties. So under the properties, we're going to some biology and we're going to classify it. Yes, I want to classify it into five groups. Yes. So let's give it something of this nature. And then here you can right click. Yes, let's click on it and format setting. Okay, numbers format. So just say three so that it reduces all the, the small numbers that are there. Okay, so then. We are going to click on OK. So now let's go back to what we have before and uh, look at the result. Because if we have here, if we check here, we have 13 minus 13.8 to minus minus 6.94 to minus 6.93 to minus minus 2.65. Then down to minus zero point seven five four to minus six five, and then lastly we have a positive one point six six to a positive eight point zero nine. Now what do each of these numbers mean? All right, let's go back to our. Sorry for bringing it up. Let's go back to our file. We now find over here that. SPI negative values signify deposition and then SPI positive values signifies erosion. So in one sentence I can say this negative positive values stand for flammable areas and this I can also say it's of flammable areas. Alright, so I can call this safe zone. That meal, I don't say no, this is like I call these safe zones, and then this uh, area that erosion are likely to occur. I just hope this video means something to you. I just hope you've learned me one or two things from this few time we'll spend together in class today. Please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and uh, give us a thumbs up, share the video, like, comment, recommend to friends comment to your loved ones and everyone around you and then i'll see you in the next video bye bye